that you know it's, it's never about oh I just can't do it I just met you know yes no it's funny never. I feel like the, the good players the good players of the world they're either like that or they're the exact opposite and they're really salty and it fuels them you know what I mean <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, there's a lot of times I'm not going to name any names but there's a lot of top players I've met that are some of the saltiest people I've ever met but I get it yeah a lot of athletes are like that too right, right. everything like bugs them when they don't it doesn't go how they want uh, you know so they yeah. do whatever they can to fix it you know, um, I, I hate that this happened it's never happening again. Never, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's that it's that mindset. And Graham is a lot like um, what well, you described Kuda to be as well. It, it, it's an intelligent, realistic approach to yeah. losses and, and taking advantage of them. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, of course, Kudo has some experience against Puff. There are a few Florida Puffs, most notably HBox. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, he hasn't been away with Ultimate. And that's a stock. That is. Is Sheik doing that aerial with your second jump is usually not a great offer for Puff, because if she's smart, she's already grabbed the ledge. Right. Oh, that would have been bad. That's yeah. one thing I noticed about Hi-Fi is uh, he's really good about making you chase him down in a position where he could potentially get a rest reversal. Yeah, he he does what you see like the Smash Bob players do, the rest fiends do, but he doesn't <laughs> spam it. Right, it's right. sprinkled in with his neutral to where it's like you don't see it coming. You've forgotten that he could come off up tilt. Yeah. And then it's when you ran into grab or something. And it's like, it's really impressive. Grim, honestly, out of so many players I've played, is one of the smartest players I've ever played for. I only haven't played for a year. It's unbelievable. I feel it. Oh, see, like that was a great example. Actually, he had a feeling the aerial was coming. He just kind of missed time the nair. That's good. I, and I'll say this too: it's a good, good on Crudo to do a nair instead of the fair like last time. Right, the fair right. would have gotten blown up right there. It made the timing slightly different. Oh, yeah. fair killed. Yeah, a little rough DI, but a good comeback from a comeback from Crudo there. Well, this has been a really uh, already. It's been a really competitive set, right? The yeah. first stock, uh, Crudo won. Oh. Yeah. She can really cover everything. If she, I mean, Pup can really cover all those options if she's smart about it. Yeah. She's uh, long land, lagging, sorry, long and lag at the end of her up B when she lands. Very punishable. These are two shield droppers too, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. People watching the vault on YouTube are not going to oh! That was one of the best up tilts I've ever seen in my life. That was crazy. And like you said, he, you know, he sprinkled it in there, right? You know? in. Right. He sprinkled it in there. <laughs> he hasn't. Like, think about it. All these times he lands, it's not like he's doing up tilt here. You, you'll play Smash Bob, you'll play like a soap type of puff. They're up tilting every time they're landing. Right, they're right. like, please come into this. Great grab. That grab was nuff, insane. Uh, but when but you yeah, play right. a puff who, who plays a normal spacing game with you and then occasionally lands that when you think you can get the grab and finally get an opening, it's like, oh man, so like, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think? Dis like, it, Disciplined. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's smart. It's it's just good neutral. Yeah, it's it's a real mix up as opposed to something that they a uh, setup, right? Bingo. Yeah, a real mix up. Yeah. I thought that rest out of shield was happening. I swear, I, I felt it. This is a good game one. A good, good play from both these guys so far. Yeah, honestly. Even the first stock was so indicative of the level of play that was going to happen. Because Crudo One was winning for most of the first stock, and then suddenly Hi Fi turned around. Yeah, they've gone just back and forth. <gasps> oh! That's enough. He grabbed the crouching puff. I knew it. I mean, he knew, he went for a purpose. Yeah, he knew. He's been. Yeah. A pretty comp. Oh, he's smiling. Maybe he wasn't 100 percent sure about it. Oh, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> but, but he had. He was very confident. Yeah. Um, he was willing to grab Puff when he knew that Puff would probably shield or try to do something. He, what's crazy was like, that's a crazy play to make because yeah. he was literally sitting crouching, literally crouching, and he goes, "You know what? I, I'm going to go into this grab. Like, I, I have a good feeling what's going to happen. That, that's, that's big time plays right there." I also appreciate that Kruder's willing to. He's willing to run up crouch against Puff because he knows that at low percent. The back air doesn't actually do anything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't actually knock you over if you're holding down. Yeah. Good. Uh, I want to see how Graham takes this. There's two, oh, we could have rested that. There's two ways to take a loss like that. There's a, I definitely could have had that game mentality. And, and then there's a, I can take any of these games now. You know, don't yeah. get disappointed about it, essentially. And, uh, and, and move forward. Oh, okay. I think he missed a shield drop there. Smart of Fruto to know to F-Tilt when he hit the back of Puff Shield. Puff can't really jump out of Shield and do a move backwards to really counter Sheik. I'd like to see uh, Hi-Fi catch on to the fact that Crudo's also pulled the Sinbad. That was a weird grab. He pulled in the Sinbad and he's got up from ledge instantly every time. Yeah, you know, every time it's an instant ledge yeah. Might be able to take advantage of a grab there. He can take his time for sure. Avoiding those needles was kind of interesting. Yeah. Also, pre they, they had the... Hi-Fi waited to, to waited for Crudo's spot dodge and Crudo delayed his spot dodge. They're, they're both thinking. They're, they're, they're really trying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, not quite enough. That was the red lightning in, in Ultimate, but when they don't <laughs> die. Yeah. It, it lies to you. The game lies. 
dude, I hate it when the game lies. <laughs> I feel like every time I play Ice Climbers, the game lies to me. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I'm playing the game. Oh, and then no. the game's like, no, you're not actually playing the game. Just kidding. <laughs> We're playing a different game now. <laughs> oh. Interesting that nobody had hit each other coming yeah. back from that. They waited. These guys are waiting. What's they're, going on? They're playing Melee. Is this a Swedish game? What's, what's happening? Oh, that fake. That fake. These I, guys are so good. <laughs> oh, that was so sick. It wasn't even fake necessarily. It's auto cancel, right? And he spaced it so well that it didn't matter if he whiffed or not. Good of Crudo to just full hop out of there. The only thing that's catching that full hop is a full hop uh, up air from, from Puff. Right. You can do it safely a lot of times. The issue is if you get full hop up air, you're in trouble. Interesting down air. I, I don't know if you want that one. Okay. Once again, you know, lots of pups don't do that every single time, but Hi Fi being very patient, very careful exactly, with yeah. it. When, yeah, when has he actually done that F smash to cover him coming back? Ha. Ah. Two, that's two times this game where he's kind of missed a pretty simple edge guard. Uh, Maybe he's thinking too much, you know? A little bit too much brain power. <laughs> now they're coming. Yeah, we yeah. We mentioned it, and then he goes, you know, I'm throwing them all out. Forget it. Come on, Ram! Here's a <laughs> <laughs> Not all these other matches. There it is. I hate a Confederate too, Ram. She has a uh, Confederate colors <laughs> in her costume. <laughs> Is that what's on her chest? Oh, no. I used to think it was the, <laughs> oh. it was the Zelda symbol, but now I'm starting to think it's the... Oh, oh no! That's a stock. Yeah. But once again, it, it's a mix-up in that situation, right? Because uh, it's worked for Crudo some of the time, but because hi has been uh, waited for it and threatened to beat the other options, too. It's Sometimes you got to choose, and he chose wrong. No, yeah. I, you know what's crazy? I really felt like the momentum has been in Crudo's favor this whole game until until these last got stock and a half. Yeah. Graham gets three or four neutral openings and turns into a stock, and now everything's in his favor. Oh, that's an up air right there. Ooh. Good slide off. We were talking about versus cold ball. Crudo's defense in terms of slide offs is immaculate. Oh, that's it. All right, going to game three. 1-1. One, one. Uh, Crudo's defense is unbelievable. He yeah. slide offs, grabs ledge. He on protects. It's so hard to kill him in situations where, you know, four years ago you were watching the same situation and the person's just going to die and you knew it. Yeah. Uh, Crudo like, never dies. It's unbelievable. I've Good set so far. Both players playing fairly well, I'd like to say. Yeah, yeah it's. I definitely feel the brain power, right? This it's winner's finals of this. Yeah, I can't yeah. get over the fact that's that crazy. three top 100 level players are in losers, and, and these two guys are duking it out. Nothing to take away from them. I mean, they're playing amazing. That's what's so cool about it. Does uh, Hi-Fi have any top 100 level wins? One. He kept his bumpers. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. pretty bad. It was pretty destruction. Oh. I was definitely, you know, near that caliber of play. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I'm sure Crudo's the same way. I'm sure he probably has oh, yeah, a couple, yeah. right? Yeah. Maybe more than one. To be fair, Crudo is, uh, you know, he gets chances at, at his local usually. True, yeah. But still, you know, I'm, that's not to detract. Oh, yeah. my God. He should lose this, right? I like that. Uh, yeah. Smash. Go for the down throw up air? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good enough. Yeah. Good knowledge. Yeah. I would have gone for the smash, and I, he would have been living. And we Maybe. Been, I would have been losing the set. <laughs> good needles. I'd like to see a needle grab in that situation mm. because the needle forces the shield or it forces the hit stun, in which case grab. Yeah. Which, well, it depends, right? Because sometimes, uh, like if you're a true crouch, I wonder what the, the frame rate is on crouch canceling needles, right? Because there's a lot of. Oh, yeah! Oh. Should be a rest here. Oh, he missed oh, up. Yeah, he thought he was going to platform. That was good on Curtis' part. Yeah. Great mix up. Oh, no! Oof. What's he going for? Go he's trying to upbeat a ledge from there? That's I, a weird upbeat of ledge. Yeah, that's I don't know. He was trying to needle, tr mid turn cancel, maybe like oh, that? Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe that's what it was. That makes more sense. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. My goodness, we got a punish. Oh, oh so lucky for that flank. One of the things, since both these players, it's a lot of uh, big brain counterplay going on all the time. <laughs> you know, like you said, once like Hi-Fi got ahead the last game from the one reversal situation, uh, yeah. you know, it really puts it forces the other player's hand. They have to make the more aggressive plays, and they've been kind of comfortable making more defensive ones. What I'd like to see uh, Hi-Fi do in the situation on the edge guards is what happens, he grabs the ledge early, which is smart. And instead of going for a refresh or just holding it and, and getting up when the poof comes, uh, he's getting off and trying to catch a quick aerial and get an easy game when he could just play the rest game. He right. could just wait for him to get on stage and arrest him uh, in the same situation. So I'd like to see that adjustment. Oh, good wow. read there. For a lot of damage. I like that safe, safe fair. That tomahawk was great from Crudo. He actually just didn't act right out of it. That, that's your yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Wow, and it cost and high five stock. Cost him a stock, exactly. Dude, you, you can really see the momentum shift, right? These guys are really going back and forth, and it's not the stupid kind of you know boxers haymaking on each other. Oh no, oh, man. 
haymaking on each other. I mean, this is calculated. Yeah. He's had a few flubs this game, too. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say he's played too great in right, this right. game compared to how he's playing the rest of the set. Oh, no! Oh, what? Oh! Was that killed? I don't think so. Oh, but that will. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. And Crudo takes game two with a Zelda throw poke. So, Crudo, I mean, he played... At least he played well... Uh, you know, mental game wise, but yeah. his execution, like you said, flopped a little bit. And, and you see, a good I, amount, one thing actually. I like about games like this is that's why you have counter picks. Mm -hmm. That balances a lot of that out for him. Right. You think about that, right? Dreamland, that was on high five's counter pick. That Zelda Toe is not going to kill, and now he has to reset again. You're right. Right? Um, even after all that bad play, he might have lost that bad play on Dreamland because of the same thing. Right. I love that up air uh, high five went for um, just to try and catch him jumping on the shield. It's not super risky. He can drift out if he needs to. Mm -hmm. He can also start to go for more of those uh, the pounds on FD. It makes sense. Yeah. There's no platforms to escape to, so the pound is a more powerful mix-up on the approach. And that is a deceptive hitbox. Yeah. Oh. It's not a great hitbox in, on paper, but man, does it work. It lasts so long. Oh. It's like Marth Counter. You and know? Funny thing, too, you catch one by the ledge or something, and your DI is shot. <laughs> oh. I don't really like... Oh, no. What? <laughs> the double SD. I these guys are on the same wavelength. <laughs> I don't know if I have words for that. They're hooked, up to, they're hooked to the same machine. <laughs> Their brains are connected. <laughs> High Five did the thing that we were just talking about. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Avoid both bears into that pound. That was insane. The funny thing is that's not – that, it is guaranteed with that DI. Yeah, that right. That DI could have prevented that. Um, but I think Graham threw the pound out knowing that that was a possibility. Oh. That could be a stock. That's a stock. Uh, that might have just destroyed uh, Crudo's mental – All the momentum composure. just threw out the window. Yeah. Because Crudo had it after the Zelda topo. Had it. All of it's gone now. Oh, oh try to rest of that. Crudo trying to force plays harder. You see them seeing – oh, that was sick. Yeah. A sick attempt. He's smiling about it. I, one thing I really like about Crudo is he loves sick play and, and things <laughs> going on. And you can see it when he's playing. Oh, great. <laughs> Graham can that's lead it. a Tomahawk from a mile away. I can never Tomahawk anymore. He'll grab me first. Dang, that's crazy. First decisive game we've had. Yeah. And it was bad. It was rough. I forgot the only death was that SD. Yeah. The so where are we going? Where are we going? Fountain? I, I don't know. Battlefield. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Fountain? Okay. This is a good neutral stage to finish this. I we'll think a great see. set. Okay, so the smaller stage also allows for more pound reads, and you can see mm -hmm. Hi-Fi brought them out, you know, the last late game, right? Yes, I want to see uh, Hi-Fi holding down a lot more in the beginning of these percentages, because uh, Kudo threw out two dash attacks and a down smash, and hi was at zero. Yeah. Oh, man. That's one thing HBox is really good at, too. It's like, he's very good, too, about sprinkling in the kind of things that can get rest. He'll never do it, but when he does have these opportunities to CC a low percentage to get a rest, he'll take them every single day. Oh, oh my god, the spacing to avoid that fair, Im impressive. And Hi Fi chose to turn around to, you know, both play the timing and get the back air. That was yeah. beautiful. Good. Oh, wow. Man. These guys are playing so well right now. And I felt like that was kind of a mix up, right? Because Crudo could have gone for fair or up air. And, definitely. You know, definitely. both wouldn't have necessarily killed if they get, if uh, Hi Fi died properly, so. Yeah, but no, I completely agree. I'm pretty sure that was a, a really good DI mix of there. Oh, sick. Oh, there's needles right in the face. <laughs> Graham is holding in a lot right now and eating damage for it. We'll see. He was trying to hold down uh, the last game, and it worked out, you know, pretty well. <laughs> it worked out pretty well. But Kratos uh, starting to get around some of those down-holding strats, in-holding strats, maybe. I love the way Kruto takes stage and, and, and forces uh, the Jigglypuff here to try and throw something out. And he's waiting for it. That was a good move. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh. These guys are playing so well. Kruto holding center stage is netting in stocks. Yeah. Netting in stocks is a yeah. great example of it. I love it. So force the, the puff out. Trying to stonewall him out. Stonewall Jackson. You don't yeah. want this to get out of hand if, if, if you're if you're hi-fi. Too much more percentage in the oh, That should be it. That's it. That, that's the stock. Oh my goodness, a tight game five here from Hi-Fi and Crudo. I, once again, it, it really speaks to you know how they thought about, like you mentioned earlier, that neither player has really had severe mental damage, you know, happen over the course of over between two games, you know. Yeah. Last game, Crudo got crushed, crushed, but he's back in this one. And playing better than he's played maybe all set. Is that a stock? That's wow. Enough. The hitboxes he's throwing out are super good. Yeah. They're really accurate. Interesting S smash. Oh, he's holding oh. in. You see, these, you see, he's holding in so yeah. much. It's, it's, it's giving follow-ups that he doesn't have to give away. 
<laughs> could have been a rest. I, I thought, I felt it. Oh. Not enough to get a kill yet. <gasps> okay. That could have been it, though. <laughs> Crudo wants it to work so bad. Great smash here by Crudo on the, the drill. I didn't oh, he knew the jump was coming. Oh, no. this could be it. Not enough, not yeah. enough. He misspaced on the last back air. He got a little desperate for that, that back air. Not quite enough. He's going to have to play near perfect here to win this game, though. But rest getting on the table if he takes his stock is a big deal. Okay. I like that. Confirm on the uh, the drill. Oh, like you said, same, same regular, problem. He doesn't have to drop off the ledge. It gives up all your invincibility. Ooh, he's one strong hit from it being uh, GG's. Oh, the grab. Waited out the jab. Oh, no. That was the roll. Yeah. He couldn't get on stage there. Oh, that should have been it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is this is incredibly tense. I'm telling game. you right now, when Rest gets on the table, if Rest gets on the table, Crudo needs to be careful. So I'm getting away with a lot of rolling. You know, Crudo wants to stay safe as possible, so he's not quite committing what he needs to Don't cover let's something. Let's go to last stock, Crudo. Oh, no. He needs oh to boy. just go off stage. Go off stage. Yeah, there you go. There Don't you. risk this. So he just needs like, you know, perfect one, play. one perfect solid play. hit. It's oh, it. that's it. Yeah. Smart. Good, safe, fair. Safe, fair. Wasn't going to hurt him. Wow. Great set from two players playing wonderful this tournament. That was that was incredible. That look, I mean, I'm, I would go as far as to say that looked like some really high-level melee. It from really players did. that aren't top 100. It really did. Yeah. Because it was. Yeah. Because it was. It was good. It felt like every single time Hi-Fi pummeled in, 